Hey, this is Jeremy with the Practical IT Channel. In this video, we're going to cover multicast deployment from FOG. This means that we're going to have one deployment task and we're going to deploy it to multiple machines at the same time. Let's get started and see what we need to do to do this. We're at our FOG dashboard, and so we are going to take a look at our hosts, list all hosts, and we currently have two machines listed in here. So let's go over to groups. Both of these hosts have been added when registered to the Enso Deploy group. And so over here under tasking, we've got the option to set up a multicast task. We'll do that. We don't need wake on LAN. We're gonna schedule with shutdown. So after the deploy, the machines should shut down and we're gonna create the task. And if we come over to tasks, we see that we've got our two machines set up. So I'm going to start the machine here in Proxmox VE. Start. Escape is the command to get into the boot menu. And number one for iPixie. And likewise, I will come over to VirtualBox and start up Enso 3, F12, get you in to the boot menu, L for LAN, close down that. And we can also jump back to the dashboard. Here we go. We're still waiting for that one to finish booting up. And once that gets started, we should show more activity. This would be under transmit. Move this out of the way for the moment. Once it finishes booting, should come to this part clone screen. And then the deployment is going to start. Coming back over to our fog, we can see things are starting to happen if we reload and so we definitely have things happening over here. We look at our tasks. It is showing a status with a spinning wheel and we've got a status bar for each machine. And so you can do this for two, you can do this for 10. You go above 10 and you're going to need to consider a secondary fog machine if you're going to do these all at once because there is a bit of an arbitrary limit set on how many machines can be done via multicast because you start doing too many from a single host and it's going to slow down to a crawl. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a few minutes and when we come back we will take a look at the two virtual machines that have been cloned. They previously had nothing on their virtual hard disks and we'll boot at least one of those up just to show that it does in fact work. Now, one more tip before I go. I am demonstrating this using Linux. There are additional steps you need to take if you're using Windows. As well, 
if you're using Windows, you need to have the proper licensing in place. And that is something that you need to do. I cannot do it for you. You need to handle that and work with a distributor or however you need to go about doing that in your country. But you need to make sure that your licensing is sufficient for being able to legally do mass deployments and using sysprep and all the stuff that goes along with imaging multiple computers. On Linux, it's easy. Typically, you can clone and push it to multiple machines. Uh, there are some caveats, and on Ubuntu-based distributions, they do have sort of an identifier that gets generated at install, and this is actually similar to Windows. If you're going to deploy to multiple machines, then you want to consider using an OEM, uh, which again is Original Equipment Manufacturers, an OEM install of Linux, uh, Ubuntu specifically, or any derivative of Ubuntu. That way, when you shut down that machine and prepare it for imaging, you are going to have the temporary identifier deleted, and so you'll have new identifiers generated when you boot each new machine. So enough of that rant. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when we're just about done with this deployment. All right, we are back. I'm going to switch to the fog here real quick for a minute. So we can see that We'll reload here. You can see that we have two imaged on December 4th, which is today's date. We currently have no tasks active. So we will minimize that. We will boot this ENSO 3 for the first time. And that should come up with all my settings intact and be basically a clone of the original Enso VM that I started this project with. So in this case, for speed of making the video, I did not use an OEM install. I actually repurposed a VM from another project and so this is going to have the same identifier as will the other clone that I made so I am not going to start that other machine up at the same time but we'll log in here and it should take us to our desktop So that is the basic process for doing multicast with fog to deploy to multiple devices at the same time. Now, it's still never going to get you around having to register all of those devices in fog. I'm sorry, that's just the way it works, but it can be a time saver to do deployments this way. I have used it this way before on physical machines. It is much faster on physical machines in general when you are using a physical server and physical machines to deploy to and you're using it over a hardwired network preferably with all of the items hooked to the same switch but that is not an option in many environments experiment know your limitations of your equipment in your environment and fog can work for you 
Now I do have other videos that show how to set up a fog storage node, which doing things that way will increase the number of machines you can image at the same time. But that's out of scope for this particular video. And so on that note, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you haven't taken a moment to do so, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, feel free to leave comments down below. I keep reminding everybody I am willing to answer questions to the extent that my time allows. I am not going to be free tech support for very in-depth questions and problems. You need to hire somebody to do that if you are over your head on a project. So on that note, everybody stay safe out there. Happy computing and have a great day.